I try not to scare people. Oh, here I can buy sweets a bit. Vielleicht noch etwas gesund sein. Maybe I buy something uh, healthy. Ein Futtantel would be six. I have four, five, something. Now I have to take something cheaper. I don't know what. Um, 20 I have that yes I buy a cheese which is a little bit healthy with the food I bought I don't have to leave the house for a while it's like okay doesn't make me leave for nothing because yeah I got a little bit sweet so I can survive when I have a sugar lack what the music in this shop and I was so woo, you know a little bit shaky and all because yeah 
counting money, getting it right, stuff like that. And then the overwhelming, like, what do I choose? You know, I want to have a lot of chocolate now, but maybe tomorrow morning I think it's a bad idea to have bought so many sweet stuff instead of like just bread and bananas or whatever. <laughs> okay, there it's green, so there I go on the pedestrian. Tram. That was it. So now green just left, so I gotta wait. <sighs> it's red. Maybe I have to press the button. Check, there is nobody, so I go. This is the better method. Okay, now it got green per chance. This is a city, so you rather check the floor. Is there any glass? Bullshit, so to save the shit. Yeah, cool. And I enjoy the air, the very cold air waking me up a bit. Wow, this was an evening. We listened to Falco, Genie. <laughs> Before was, after that was Mama, the man with the coke sister. But then there came lots of political and pop and German stuff I didn't know. And political in the way like uh, his song was America. That was the first song. But it was a satire. We were like you and then we listened to Otto. And at the same time we had um, Peter Schilling on. Völlig losgelöst von der Erde. So these two things were playing at the same time. So it was so funny that that German comedian was saying Hansel and Gretel sketch <laughs> with his guitar. Sometimes you heard him and then you had like Völlig losgelöst von der Erde, something like that, really shining through. So it was so funny. Or was Sarah Leander the one playing that time? Yeah, well, so Alandi, the one I was visiting was putting on stuff that he wanted to share so after that political part where we really followed the text the sayings and stuff there's people coming so I have to be on the road now it's safer to be here because people coming you know and my butt hurts just to tell you, I haven't been driving my bike for ages. I was always walking uphill. There is no chance, was no chance for a bike there. Ooh. And so, not, I'm, I'm not really good in sitting on something for so long anymore. So my butt hurts. It's like, yeah, I enjoy it. Even though my butt hurts, Be yeah. It's like, poo. what intense two men this was tonight. And then there was the Japanese guy, Kaito. Yes, and he was also suggesting stuff. So we got through the evening. And until we ended at Genie, we do, took a lot of detours. It started with a joke and then it got more and more philosophical. And then in the end, of course, again, Alandi tries to explain to me that you shall not charge, you know, you cannot. So that one was quintessential what we gone through until we ended there again. <laughs> he always explains that. So whenever something happens, he goes saying, yeah, you cannot charge or give advice here or there, you know, whatever happens is uh, tolerated okay but he also does not explain that he said so just says that you can't uh, judge the situation you're in you just have to take it as it is it's not that there is a good or a bad situation so you never judge when people even fight it's good all is positive you never answer with no because God can only say yes and that was Alandi's words 
exactly how he said it. <laughs> okay. So I got tired, of course, because it was so intense. Yes, and uh, So I didn't have to be getting out of balance and then getting up again onto the bike. It's nice to just be somehow slowly driving home. Yes. Whatever this is on the other side looks like decoration for the snow that isn't there for the Christmas that will come da -da 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 -da. so Otto was factually repeating the song of the German tale about Hansel and Gretel in the woods how the witch comes and says come on here a cookie house eat and then she puts them into a cage and gets them fat she wants to eat them so Hansel always just offers her a bone so they never get sick, you can never get eaten. And then they escape somehow and burn the witch in her house. In the oven that she wanted to burn them, she burns herself. So that's the end of the fairy tale. Just told how it is in the German region. So then Otto goes singing it in so many different songs that exist from popular culture and music. So like Genie by Falco, he puts a version in that melody and that sense. So there he, uh, Otto, asks, do you want to have uh, Gretel, the female part of that children do, that goes, in, goes into the wood, do you want her to undress herself? You know, he's uh, satirically he, asking Hansel. That would be like incest. And in that way it is sung because the music it is based upon is on Falco's genie. You know there is no one around so it's really stupid to stand because whenever I start again on my bike I'm very insecure. So if ever somebody stops me I'm gonna explain just that, you know. It gets really, I'm safe for going home when I'm not stopping on my bike, you know, and then start again. So now it was just red, but I went just very slowly, you know. <sighs> you know, not driving fast, but constantly driving. That's safe. And I enjoy it so very much. <sighs> this bike, I haven't had it for a year now or something. Last October, I went up onto the Glarnev mountain to live in that house that I just left today and there also in the valley I was like half a year so I was then going back and forth a lot 13 kilometers down to the city uh, the smallest city in Switzerland but it was the city in that district of Switzerland the biggest one yeah flat in the valley but that's a year ago that I last was doing so. I had the bike in the celery for the ones that get the choke. I always add an E on cellar just because you know in the German houses there is the Attica just the space underneath the roof and that one in the east of Switzerland it is called Estrich but right here where I am at the moment. No one says so. I've never heard that. Estrich. And that Estrich actually in Swiss German, but yeah. So if it doesn't matter what word you use, then I can e easily also use vegetable. <laughs>